should have probably carried my pillow and blankets to come sleep in this train. Because tell me why I started this journey around 8.26 and here I am stuck in the train. Two weeks ago, I boarded a train from Passau heading to Munich and usually I would go with an early train but this particular day, I decided to go with the evening train. Anyway, the journey was going so smoothly until the train came to a standstill. It was late and very, very, very dark outside so I couldn't really see or tell where exactly the train had stopped. And that got me really worried because I didn't know what the next line of actions were going to be. Whether to change trains or to stay in the train until the problem was resolved. And guess what? After some minutes, it was communicated to us that we had to wait for the problem to be resolved before we could continue with the journey. However, what was not communicated was how long this was going to take. It had to take them some extra minutes for them to let us know that we were going to stay or we had to wait for about two hours before we could continue with this journey. Oh my God. <laughs> Deutsche Bahn. Mm. So like everyone else, I had no choice than to wait for this problem to be resolved. Then we continue our journey. But you know, when you are in Africa, there's this misconception that the train never delays. I need you to know that it is wrong. The train delays, I mean, sometimes, but it delays. And my tip for you is that always factor in an hour or an hour and 30 minutes delay when you decide to, you know, buy a train ticket, a bus ticket, especially for long distance journeys or trains number two i know the german language is difficult but believe you me the regional trains they do not communicate in english they communicate in german so imagine you are on this train and all the announcements they are giving is in german and you don't even understand anything my sister my brother Hey, wahala for you. So try. I know it's difficult, but try to learn the language. Anyway, after several hours of waiting, feeling exhausted, restless, and tired, the train finally set off. The issue was resolved, and then we finally set off on our journey. But the downside is that I arrived at my destination very, 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 very late. Have you ever encountered such similar situations in Germany? Let me know in the comment section below. And do you have more tips to share with us? Leave them in the comment section. Thank you and bye.